everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are catching up on all the advent calendars that I had not got round to I have literally got about eight or nine left I think I've also got the um, giveaway one coming the one where I'm doing a bespoke one don't worry it's still going ahead I just need to finalize the items some of the things that I want to put in my giveaway are still in advent calendars that I've not unboxed so I'm gonna try and get all these filmed I'm not necessarily put them all up straight away I might put them up sort of after I've done that unboxing but I need to film them so that I can open it up find the bits and pieces that I want to put in I think I'm up to 19 of 25 products so we're close we're close I just want to make sure that it is the best calendar that I can make and I don't want to sort of shortchange you by just giving you bits and pieces that I've got lying around I want to pick I've you know put thought into every single item that I've popped in there they are all things that I would love to receive personally so yeah enough of that let's dive into this calendar so this is the NYX diamonds and ice calendar I've had this one for quite a while I picked it up for myself basically because it's I got a NYX calendar, not last year, the year before, and I really, really liked it. This one also looks better suited because that one had a lot of, like, bright pink lipsticks and blue lipsticks. This looks much better. As you can see, a lot of the lipsticks are nude, which is perfect for me. I love a nude lipstick. And... Yeah, it just looks like a much more wearable calendar. So this is a 24 day one. There is a 12 day one, which I think might just be lips. Um, but yeah, let's dive on in. How beautiful is it inside just before we get started? It is absolutely stunning. A bit, a bit like the um, Pretty Little Thing calendar. I won't be able to have this on show whilst showing you the items. Unfortunately, with my technology, my camera sees photographs of faces and um, focuses on them. So if I'm trying to show you a product and there is a face on something nearby, it will focus on that and not on the product, which was an issue I had with, I think it was either Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo. So yeah, let's dive on in. So where is Day? Oh, this is not good. I mean, it's not spoiled it or anything like that. It's just a bit boring. Basically, the numbers go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then down to the next row and down to the next row. I mean, it's not going to ruin Christmas. <laughs> it's not going to ruin the advent calendar. I find it a bit lazy, personally. I don't like that. It should be mixed up. Half of the fun of opening your advent calendar is spending that few seconds, where's, where's the day? Or, you know, if you can't find it, it gets more exciting. I don't know why it does, but it does. So, yeah, that's a bit of a... Mm, not too impressed with that. But anyway, let's dive in. So, day number one. And we're starting off well. We've got a lipstick. And... I think this is a mini yeah so it's a mini and it is a gorgeous red shade as I've said in the past I don't really wear red so what I'm gonna do is not swatch this particular one I will be swatching um, the majority of this calendar but if there's anything like this that I won't wear I'll not swatch it because I can gift it on to somebody else um day number two day number two and we have a liquid illuminator so this is in a pinky shade does it have a shade name it's called sunbeam so judging by the packaging it's going to be a lovely pinky shade again not something that i will probably use just because not that it's a bad product i have a lot of illuminating primers liquid illuminators i don't tend to use liquid illuminators that much so it's a waste to keep that one so I won't swatch it now we have a soft matte lip cream and this is in the shade cans 
and it just looks like this. I feel like a broken record. Again, I don't think I want to keep this one. This isn't one of my shades either. Now, I'm not saying this is a bad calendar by saying that I don't like the shades or anything or I won't use products. It is because I have so much makeup. It is not because it's a bad calendar. I'm actually pleased with those three items as items, if that makes sense. It's just not something that I personally need. To be fair, I don't need anything. <laughs> I have far too much of everything in my life to need anything. So, yeah. Next, we have an eyeshadow and it's in the shade Glam Purple. It's actually in a little case. I think the one I got last time, which was two years ago, was in like cardboard. Um, but this is in a little plastic case. I will be depotting this and putting it with my NYX eyeshadows. Um, so this is my NYX eyeshadow palette. I do love NYX eyeshadows. Um, they're a bit battered because I have departed them, so yeah, not all of them are in the best shape, but they work fine and it's just a case of I've learnt a bit now and some of my later ones, I've put them in order of colour rather than in order of when I did them, some of my later ones are a lot better, those are the ones that I'm referring to, those are from the year before last's advent calendar. Yeah, and I totally destroyed that brown when I was getting it out. But yeah, so this will be depotted and I'll be putting it in my little thing. If you want to see how to do that, if you want me to do like a demo video showing you how to do that, let me know because I'll have to do it anyway. So. so then we have a lip scrub. This is just a NYX lip scrub doesn't say that it's any particular flavour, but it looks like this. Saying that, I've not sw I'm gonna sw <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna swatch this because I am gonna keep it. It's not actually that pigmented, or at least it doesn't look it on the finger. Oh no, but it's beautiful. it's a lovely shimmer so yeah I'm pleased with that and it seems to be a full-size pan a full-sized circular pan I think they're about five pounds each so then we have a butter gloss in a pink shade this one is called angel food cake so number seven is a glitter eyeshadow and this is stunning. Really gorgeous. I don't know whether this is going to swatch that well. Oh, it seems to be. I didn't know whether it was going to be chunky, but it's not. It is definitely a shadow rather than a glitter. But look at that. How beautiful. So yeah, pleased to have that one as well to add to my collection so day number eight is a lip oil um i think we've had these in the past but it's not a bad product it's always good to have something to condition your lips with so day number nine is a lip oil as well but these are two different ones um so the pale pink one is sheer and this one is sheer blush so presumably the sheer might be clear and this is a pinky one it's strange that it's one day after another they could have sort of separated it out a bit more. So then we've got another liquid glow. This one's in the shade Gleam, which is a bit more kind of, I don't know, goldy or bronzy. Those are the two next to each other so you can sort of see the difference. Maybe peachy? <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> a bit darker anyway. Um, what are we up to? 11. So we've got another lip cream in the shade room so day number 13 and we have a lip balm i have actually tried this in the past this is actually really really nice um i'm not sure if it says what flavor it doesn't say but i have tried at least one of these before i don't know whether they make different ones and it was really really nice 
Day 13 is just a setting powder. So this is a pressed one. And it's just a very white translucent powder. So we've got a lipstick in the shade Natural. Which looks like this. We then have a butter gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. And then we have another stunning shimmer eyeshadow. This one's called Golden Bronze and how beautiful is that? Let's give this one a swatch. That is stunning. So those are the three we've got so far, all shimmers. Very pretty. Um, 17. Okay, so these two are so similar, I thought there was a mistake. So the one we've just tried was Golden Bronze. We've now got a Bronzed Goddess. <sighs> and there isn't a lot to it that's different, so let's do this one. It is Golder. Less bronze, more gold, but they are very, very similar, which seems a bit strange to me. Why wouldn't you put something in completely different? I do not know. So 18, we've got a lipstick in the shade Siren. This is kind of like a plummy red shade. Very pretty if you're into your dark lipstick. Personally, I can't wear dark lipstick. It makes me look washed out. But if you're into your dark lipsticks, that is a really pretty shade. Now this colours a bit of me, so this is in the shade Whipped Caviar and it is a gorgeous pinky nude. I'm very boring when it comes to lipstick. I just wear pinky nude lipsticks all day every day and won't wear anything else. <laughs> Unless I'm doing like a specific look where, say I was doing like an all pink look then I might wear a pink one but that would be for YouTube rather than for, you know, going out in public. <laughs> Right, number 20. Ooh, this is a pretty one. So we've got rose gold. Very pretty. Where are we going to put this one? Ooh. These shimmers are stunning. So it's this one here. But those are all the different shades. That is so pretty. So glittery. 21. Okay, so 21 is actually an eyeshadow base, which I wasn't expecting in this kind of packaging. So I'll definitely be giving this one a try. Um, I, I mean, I like what I use, but I don't know whether it's going to stop being made. I, I use the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. I've struggled to get it on occasion it doesn't seem to be on superdrug anymore i don't know whether it's just superdrug isn't stocking it or whether it's getting discontinued so i'm a bit worried and i need to find a new favorite so i'm trying all different ones so yeah another one to try to my list i've got so many to give a try to <gasps> wow this shadow is stunning it's called antique gold And it's so chunky and pretty. There was another one, I think it was a silver that was like this. And it just is something else. I love the formula of these. They feel like silk. And let's extend it everywhere so you can see. So that's it there. It's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, very, very pleased with the eyeshadows in this calendar. So there were six in total. So day 23 is a Tiramisu Butter Gloss. And then day 24 is a Pore Filling Primer. So yeah, let's just have a quick recap as to what we got inside. So, 
we got six eyeshadows which I will be keeping for 100% and I will be depotting those into my little NYX Z palette. We then have a finishing powder. We have a lip scrub and balm. All great products. We have four matte stick lipsticks. We have two illuminators. We have a pore filling primer. We have two lip oils. We have one eyeshadow base. We have three butter glosses and two self matte lip creams so yeah i do think for the price this is a pretty decent calendar it's not all to my taste but i was expecting that because i'm quite fussy when it comes to makeup so don't buy makeup advent calendars expecting to like every single lipstick um but yeah i love all the eyeshadows and um, the lip scrub and lip balm i've tried the balm before and it was really really nice um i really rate nyx setting powders um pore filling primer i'll definitely use that one myself and i'll definitely use the um eyeshadow base myself so i have got quite a bit of bits and pieces i might use the lip oils actually myself so basically, all the lipsticks bar one, which is, which one is it? So this one is Whipped Caviar. So that is the one that I will keep out of the lipsticks. And I don't know, I might keep this one as well. What's this one called? Natural. It looks pinker than I thought it did originally, so I'll probably keep this one as well. Yeah, I will. So those are those two. I will keep both of those lipsticks. I'm a stick lipstick girl through and through. I don't really wear um, liquid lips. I used to, but I'm more into the stick variety these days. So, yeah. Overall, we've not done too bad. I have got all these surplus lip products, though. And these as well that I probably won't use. Yeah, so everything else I'm keeping and I'm really pleased with. So yeah, I definitely think this is one to look out for if you're into shimmers particularly. Because these are really stunning shimmers. Um, if you like your nude lipsticks, there's a couple of nude lipsticks in there. There are, there are a red one and a purpley one as well if you're into your darker shades. Um, but overall... I'm happy. I'm happy with the price I paid for the items that I've got. Um, but yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. I hope to see you in the video again soon. Bye!